Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's my first speed build. It's my first video on this channel. So hopefully I'm gonna have a lot of fun and you can see sort of how I approach things when I build in The Sims. This pack is the new pack, the Cottage Living pack, which I am thoroughly enjoying. It is allowing me to live all of my cottage core fantasies out in a nice safe place where I can spend as much money as I want. And no walls or uh, other house areas have to be knocked out to, to do it. So that's quite fun. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this pack. And I just started out by sort of removing all the furniture, all the windows, everything like that, that I knew that I wasn't going to keep. I wanted to definitely do those sort of bay style windows because I just, I love a bay window. It's just free extra space without having to do any sort of a extension and then I added the white windows that are just those are the quintessential British windows to me the PVC windows that you see on every single British house <laughs> in any sort of a uh, area in the UK so yeah I do love those because they they just remind me of home now um so yeah cleared all that out and decided to sort of start with uh, the kitchen area and now at first I was like oh I'm, I'm gonna move the walls around a little bit and and change that corner and things like that and then I just decided not to because the funny thing about um, older 1950s and older houses in the UK is that sometimes they do have these sort of spaces where you'll have this random sort of bump in the wall and it might be because there's an extension or it might be because there's a chimney breast there or it, whatever reason. The room's never like a perfect rectangle or a perfect square or anything like that. There's always bits that um, stick out in a weird way. And, and I really was like, okay, this is actually gonna be a good challenge because it's not perfect, so I wanted to see what I could do with it. And actually, I really like the kitchen this way. I have a ton of counter space, so it, it gives me a chance to be really creative with it and put a lot of things down. The open shelving, I'm so into that at the moment. I really want to do that in my own kitchen. So that was a fun way to be able to sort of experiment with that. So I I'm, was really excited to work with the open shelving there. And I decided to go with like sort of a blue theme throughout the house. Number one, that's just like my favorite color ever. And number two, I just feel like it, it makes a room peaceful and relaxing and things like that. There's a lot of CC in this video. So for the packs themselves, I uh, tended to stick with uh, base game and cottage living only, just because that's quite easy. And if you're watching this video, you probably have or want cottage living. So I was like, I'll just keep it to that pack. But I do have a ton of CC. And I will link it all in the description box down below. It all came from the Sims resource. I really do love some of the uh, custom content that the creators over there do. It's, it's so much fun. So a lot of the um, moving things around is all new to me in Sims. I didn't really realize that you could uh, place things for years really. And as I've been sort of watching people play recently, especially with the new pack, I was like, oh, what, what are they doing? They're putting things in midair and it's in a different space on the counter than you think and resizing things so this is all a new whole new world has opened up for me in the sounds and I'm like oh I can put stuff everywhere I love the idea of that just making it look realistic and homey and nobody lives in an environment with empty counter space everywhere it's just not well I mean I guess some people do but not any people I know <laughs> Uh, and certainly not me. <laughs> there's, there's barely any open counter space in my kitchen. It's all filled up with uh, gadgets of various sorts or um, cooking spices and, and oil and all the 
things that you sort of have to have in your kitchen to be able to make a good meal. So it was really, really fun to be able to experiment with that and put things in different nooks and, and how you would do it in real life. I enjoy that. I did do a build the other day that I haven't didn't record when I did it but um it was sort of a build of my house here we live in a boring three bedroom semi-detached probably like the vast majority of British people do um and I was like oh I want to I want to try to build the house in the sounds and, and I put together all the plans for, for our house where we currently live and I built it out and it looks so much like it and I was like this is going to be really fun because I want to renovate our kitchen and our bathroom and I was like I get to do like a practice pass now on that before I commit to anything basically and make it look as real as I want to to be honest so I'm really excited about that. I carried on with kitchen for a bit uh, I just love it. I, I absolutely love this kitchen. The blue cabinets are, they're just so modern. I really, really wish I had cabinets like that. I love all the shelves with the books on it. And I decided to add a bunch of other little things to that shelf. It's <laughs> when I'm thinking about it and looking back at it now, I'm like, that is so unrealistic because it would be absolutely covered in grease. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to worry about cleaning all that sort of thing. And The Sims, which is really nice. Uh, I was massively struggling with the camera. I tend to, I play from a laptop and uh, tend to not use mouse. I use the trackpad. And that is probably not the op optimal way of playing The Sims because the, the camera is a bit hard to maneuver in my opinion with the trackpad so I did end up having to pull out my mouse a little bit later on because I was just like this is driving me insane just not being able to rotate and adjust really easily and having to go sort of back and forth between my keyboard and my trackpad for different things to get things positioned right and all that sort of thing so yeah if you notice that the camera uh, work isn't fantastic on this one uh, that's probably why so I'm gonna try to use my mouse a little bit more in the future although that came with its own set of challenges because I haven't used a mouse in years now I've been strictly working from a trackpad for years I was like oh how do you do this how do you rotate well, all this sort of thing that you just normally wouldn't think about so I had to relearn all of that and that that's going to take me a bit because the brain is not as young as it used to be. I couldn't figure out what to put on those shelves so I kept trying to put like vases and knickknacks and things like that. And then I was like nope cookie jar that belongs on the shelf. Again like the cookie jar is open and I'm just sitting here thinking right now your cookies would be so gross if you did that. I've got to find an electric kettle on The Sims, maybe in some custom content or something, because I have not used an actual boil water in a kettle in years now. I've used an electric kettle, and they are an invention from God's own mind, because it's so nice to just be able to put water in there, and uh, it boils automatically, as I like to say. I love to put in like the cookbooks on the counter and the pans underneath the counter that is just it's just such a touch to me it's just like wow I love it so it, it just makes it so realistic and perfect but the only thing probably missing from this if this was my own kitchen like with the cookbook out and everything um is just the flour and powdered sugar or whatever I'm trying to cook because I am the messiest cook in the world um, I'm trying to get better about cleaning as I go, but I'm pretty terrible at it. So it usually looks like some sort of hurricanes come through my house anytime I bake or cook a, cook a big meal or anything like that. It's just crazy. You know, you'd think that uh, the, the other person that lives with me, that would make them say, no, no, we don't want her to cook. It hasn't worked that way. They still, they still like my 
cooking and they'll just do the cleaning up behind me. So I guess that's a bonus as well. At least I have somebody to clean behind me. I, I love this sofa that I've picked for the living room as well. That That's a piece of custom content and I just want that sofa in real life. I absolutely love it. It looks so comfortable. <laughs> I would properly take naps on that sofa. And I wanted to add the touch of a gallery wall because I love a gallery wall. I just think I can never put one together though. I don't know if this is a me thing. I see so many cute gallery walls on Pinterest and Instagram and things like that. And they're so cute and so well put together and coordinated and they make sense. I cannot put together a gallery wall. Like there's some part of my brain that thinks that everything has to line up all the time and look even and that's not actually a good look for a gallery wall. So it was quite nice that that one came as one piece so I didn't have to struggle with that. Yeah, my son was in my way. I was like, it's time to do the bathroom. And then she's just like standing in there looking crazy. So my Sam, I'm absolutely loving that dress from this pack. It looks so much like the, I think it's Lyrica Matosi sort of strawberry dress. Oh, I love that dress. I know it's a trendy dress. It's like been everywhere on the internet and everybody's seen it and it's probably even passe now. But I love that dress. I wear dresses pretty rarely. I'm like a very much a jeans and t-shirt person. Casual. <laughs> Casual and comfortable. But that dress is just like, I want to wear it. I want to go to the middle of a field and have a picnic with like a dog and a sheep and that's what I want out of life. That's never going to happen because first off, I'm not going to buy that dress, it wouldn't look great on me. And secondly, I, I don't really like eating around bugs and worms, so it's just a fantasy but yeah, I love that dress. So bathroom, I decided to keep small as well because again, it just... I feel like it fits with the neighborhood aesthetic where it's like a little cottage village. And yeah, the bathrooms are just normally small. There's typically a trade-off. Either you have a really tiny kitchen or a really tiny bathroom. And I feel like the kitchen in this particular house does, um, it's pretty big. It has a lot of counter space. I, I could have put an island I couldn't have put a table and an island, but I could have put an island. And yeah, that's a pretty big kitchen to me. So I decided to keep the bathroom small. Plus I love sort of like the coziness of getting the candles and a little spa basket and the bathtub in there. And then it all being quite small and keeping it to the pedestal style sink. Pedestal style sink. That is a hard combination of words to say I'll tell you so um yeah I really just like the the way it looks so I was like I'm gonna go with this tried to figure out a way to get some sort of counter or dressing table or something in there but just nothing was working so I ended up giving up on that and then I got obsessed with this trunk which I really like I would have that in real life too this is the thing about The Sims. The Sims just makes me want to have all these things in real life, which is probably not healthy. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess in another way, it gives me the opportunity to decorate with these things that might not be so practical in real life without having to commit to actually purchasing them. So, I struggle sometimes with this move objects thing because um, I guess my three-dimensional spatial awareness isn't great or something because sometimes I'll move things and then when I look at it at a different angle it's like miles away from where I thought it was going to be so I keep having to sort of fiddle with that as I, as I move around but so we finally move on we end up moving on first to the bedroom I uh, love that I love everything in this build, so I'm probably going to say I love this so much about 403,000 times. I apologize for that. 
but I love the bed, I love the dressing table, they're both like so cottagey <laughs> and I guess that's sort of the, the idea since it's in this cottage pack but they're just absolutely adorable. The only thing is I feel like this in a way this doesn't feel realistic because that's quite a big bedroom I think uh, in reality if, if I was in a room that size because I'm just thinking comparatively to how the bedroom looked when I built my replica of my real house. That's a big bedroom definitely by British standards and I feel like a lot more would fit in there. We, you'd probably have built-in wardrobes in that room <laughs> like it's pretty big uh, but I don't seem to be able to fit as much really as, it, as I would want in there so I don't know I almost feel like maybe the some of the things are are not sort of true to scale like the side tables for example that's really probably like a quarter of a square to be honest with you not a full square but hey I, I don't work for the sim so I don't imagine they really care what I think had to put some plants in this room because I love a plant. That fiddly fig would die. It needs so much more life than that, but again, that's the beauty of a video game. I don't have to worry about um, my plants dying because they're not getting enough light, so that's fun. Ended up going for another gallery style wall in the bedroom, which I really, really liked. And I wanted to do like some down low and some up high, but for some reason I just couldn't move them any lower than sort of the where I've put them now so I wasn't able to put any more. Bit of a shame but it I think it turned out good. I do like it. The only thing is they're sort of boho and it doesn't really go with the rest of the look of the house but I couldn't find anything I liked better so I just went with it and decided to put some other random things on the wall as well like cork board which everybody has. You gotta have a cork board. And just some random pictures taped up on the wall. So just to sort of give it that like somebody lives here look. Which I really enjoy. The funny thing is when I work on a room. Uh, I'll see things that look good in other rooms. Or I'll see things that I'm like oh because of where I put that. I need to put other things somewhere else. Oh yay we're coming to the part where my game. I, I totally forgot to record part of this. So you're going to see a jump. I put a few things on the shelves. And then I think I went off to do something else. Like maybe check my emails or something like that. And when I came back I forgot to press record again. So there's a big gap of like work that I did. And, and things that I started putting in this area. And it's not recorded. So you're just going to see some things magically appear I'm afraid. But uh, I love decorating these shelves. I like open bookshelves. Uh, I mean, I like a bookshelf. I like a built-in bookshelf or freestanding bookshelf. But I do really like normal bookshelves as well because you can put things like wall-mounted bookshelves because you can put things underneath it and it's quite handy for storage. This this is another room that's <laughs> it just reminds it's got that little built-in area where you where you've got to figure out something to go in it. And, and that's just sort of the way it works in, in these houses and in these kind of areas. So I just put some boxes under there because my office is my junk room for sure. Not a junk room so much. It's just everything is in there that I think I might need. I love the pig. I'm obsessed with this pig statue. So I don't know. I might need a golden pig statue. Not sure what's going to come of that, but... Um, I was just trying to get everything on the shelf so it looked like, hey, somebody's actually come in here and, and tried to put these things on the shelf. Yeah, that pig statue is so cute. I don't know, it, it kind of makes me think of Charlotte's Web or something because it's like, that's a Wilbur Award there. Yeah, and put some pictures on it and some other little books and knickknacks and... I guess it's been such a long time since I've had so many books because everything's on these devices now and with me especially because I travel quite a bit I don't really like to keep 
um, physical books because I can't read what I want when I want so I've sort of moved digital on on most of my books so but I've just it looks so nice just to have those physical books on the shelves and to be able to to look at them and it's interesting that that is an aspect of physical books that I miss as, as a decor item. I mean, I can get some books that I'm not going to read and put them on a shelf if I wanted to, but that's sort of not the point. I think the point is, I'm bored, I want to read something, what's on the shelf? Oh, this, that's really fun. I was struggling with these candles. I just could not get them to sit right. Even after I sized them down, they just didn't want to sit right. They didn't work well with those photos in the background. So, what was I doing next? I think next I might start working on those window sills. I can't remember exactly. Am I still just puttering around? Yeah, it looks like I'm just puttering around looking for decor items. I'm so obsessed with just putting decor items on everything. I was really going to clutter that thing up, for that dressing table. I was like, I'm going to put stuff all over it, just like real life. My dressing table's got junk all over it. And then I was like, no, my sim is neat, <laughs> unlike me. So I'm going to keep it kind of minimal. Like, it's definitely going to have things you'd use every day, like lotions and nail polish and, and you know, perfume, things like that. But it doesn't need to be full of stuff, so... Um, I, I feel like I did her right because she is a tidy person and I don't think she'd have things all over her table like I do. So I, when I create a sim it's quite interesting. I do tend to create one that I feel like looks like me. But I always create them with habits that are habits that I wish I had as opposed to habits I actually have which is quite funny. So like I'll have them be super neat or I'm trying to think of another one or super interested in gardening and things like that. And I don't like the outdoors that much. I'm, I'm sort of an indoor cat. so. <laughs> but my Sam is always the opposite. It, she always has what I think are the, or would be the best alternative to my personality so uh yeah i put some plants in the windows here and i think those look really nice that is the beauty of a bay window it's it's just good great light for your plants so i was here trying to figure out how to use these pictures to uh fill up some space in the wall and i just couldn't get the sizing right i ended up having to play a whole lot with it and then i was like oh are these different pictures and I realized that and then I had to go back and sort of change everything around again because I was like, oh, that's going to look way better than having the same picture four times in four different sizes. So I did that and that was fun. And then I sort of start looking for some other um, pictures and paintings and things like that. And I realized that those are probably up way too high so I had to bring those down that's the sort of weird thing about or in the sims it's like well how tall is a sim is it door height should it be lower it's really confusing if I look around my house I think most of the paintings and pictures that are on my wall are probably well they're quite big so they the tops of them are at the top of the door and the bottoms of them are sort of midway down the door so it's a different height perspective, I suppose, but yeah. So I think at this point, I'm kind of just doing those little last finishing touches. So like putting things in the bedroom and putting things on the side tables and things like that. Uh, curtains are very important. I love this. I really want some sort of canopy curtain-y thing around my real bed in real life. And I can't do it because the lights are in a weird place, so it just wouldn't look right in my room, which is unfortunate. At some point, I'm going to do some sort of cave-type bed in The Sims because that's the other dream 
sort of room thing that I'd like to have is, is a bit of a cave bed. So that'll happen at some point. This thing, I just, my spatial awareness was horrible here. I was just like, wait, no, no, it's miles away. And I worked on that for like a solid five or six minutes and I just was like, that's nowhere where it needs to be. So I ended up just uh, letting it place itself because I could not be bothered anymore with it. I was just like, oh, how do I survive in day-to-day -day life with this lack of spatial awareness? <laughs> how do I drive? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so get my lights up and we are about to start putting up curtains. And oh, does anybody else, <laughs> does anyone else hate the curtains and the sounds I absolutely hate like almost every curtain in the sounds I like the rainbow ones those are really cute uh, I think those come with the base game maybe but other than those they're so ugly they just look really old-fashioned I mean like 70s style or something it's just not anything modern or that um I think a person my age would would, would go for in terms of curtains and I, I'm not a spring chicken I'm middle-aged so I, I don't think that I'm speaking for you know generation z or anything but, yeah, I just wouldn't have most of these curtains. They're so awful. I couldn't figure out how to use that rug. I do love that rug in the new, in the new Sims, but I just cannot ever figure out how to use it properly. I always have to change it about 14 times. The swatches. And then, of course, I noticed that the cushions on the chairs in the kitchen table don't match the countertop so I ended up having to change all of those as well but that's coming in just a second right now we're just putting down some rugs fancy fancy rugs so yeah and of course I've got to put down a kitchen mat like that is realistic you should always have a kitchen mat down so you don't have to deal with spills all the time everything is tail uh, everything I choose and every place is tail I don't know what uh, I'm just obsessed with color tail really I try to make it work with every color combination I'm like ooh tail and pink ooh tail and dark blue ooh tail and I don't know everything everything is tail I do love it so yeah when are we getting to these curtains? Because I really thought that was coming. And I just feel like I've been awkward now. Which is alright. It's just unfortunate. Oh, this is the part where I was looking for a picture to put over the bathtub. And I couldn't find anything. I was like, this is awful. Just nothing. And then I was like, oh, that's cute. I put that there. No, nope, it don't work. And then I went into my certain sort of curtain obsession after I figured out that I couldn't find a picture for the bathroom. What could I have put there? There's no shower, so you can't really put up anything that's going to hang. Yeah, I don't know what I could have put there. I'm even thinking now. Hmm. Oh well. Instead, I just put some tiles up and, and forgot about it. I do like a, a light tile on the wall and a dark tile on the floor. It's just really nice looking to me. I'd love to have wooden floors in a in a bathroom, but I don't think it's practical. I could have just done it in The Sims, though, because I don't really have to worry about it being practical. But yeah, I did use my uh, rainbow curtains because I am obsessed with those. I love them. So I'm glad I got to use them on one window. But then every other window is just like, I hate it. I hated everything I put down. I hate these. They're just so boring. Like, honestly, they're so boring. You can find such nice blinds in real life. These sorts of blinds, the roller blinds, with so many cute patterns and, and texture looks to them and things like that. 
so the idea of the Sam and the Sams having to like deal with these dead ugly curtains and dead ugly blinds is like why though? Because <laughs> that seems so much easier to make different choices for and interesting choices for than real life. So you got me. That window especially I was struggling with and then I was like decided I kind of oh no that wasn't gonna ever work Misty was never gonna work I'm just silently judging my past self now so oh, that was never gonna work what's wrong with you I do love a Roman blind it's just a shame that they don't have some nicer swatches in that Roman blind I mean, I'm not a de an interior designer or anything to show, actually. I'm sure if anybody from the creative studio behind Megan The Sims heard this, heard it, would be like, I don't really care what you think. <laughs> so, fair. Fair point. But yeah, I just feel like a lot more could have been done with that. I'm glad I got to do a dark room as well. I do tend to do these sort of pastel looks, but it was nice to be able to do a dark office. So that was fun. And we're coming pretty close to the end of this now. So I think it's just a bit on the outside that I still have left to do. And then uh, we'll be done. So the inside is pretty well done now. Except for this crazy blanket. I was trying to put a throw blanket somewhere. It was just hovering in the air and I was like, what is life? Why can't I make this work? It just was never going to work. And then I was like, oh, I'll just sort of do an illusion that the blanket's hanging off the side of the bed. And then I hated the way that looked as well. So I was like, ugh, try to put it on the sofa. And then I realized if I size it down, actually, it looks pretty sweet on the sofa. So yeah, that worked. So I finally got through that. Oh, honestly... Living with myself is so hard sometimes because I'm just like, what are you doing? So, if you saw me at the beginning, I deleted all of the stuff outside of the garden. And then I basically put everything back the same way. Slightly different because I used ferns. I do love a fern. They just make everything look tropical. So, that's another one of those situations where I cannot figure out, like, how my spatial awareness gets me through the day. But... I've really got to work on my landscaping skills because I've seen much better work done. So, yeah, that, that'll that be my next thing that I start practicing on a bit more now that I've learned how to make my house look like uh, some sort of cluttery person lives there. I feel like I can now move on to landscape. I wish landscape in my own garden was this easy because if it was, I'd probably do it. But it's not, so I don't. And that's just facts. But, yeah. And I've got my little farm. So this lot in particular has that uh, challenges part of it where you've got to uh, have everything you want to cook in, in your inventory or in your fridge or whatever. So I don't know why they've only put two plots down to grow things because you're never going to be able to grow most of your stuff if, if you've only got two little plots of farm. That's a bit silly. I mean, not that I'd ever grow my own stuff anyway. I'm like hardcore. I'm going to the shop person. I don't know if I'd trust anything I'd grow myself. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure I could grow it, but like, would it be tasty? I don't know. So this is basically it. I am probably going to put it on the gallery and I will link all the custom content below. But hey, thanks for for sticking around with me this long i'll put some more videos up as i play the sims a bit more and i hope it wasn't literally the most boring thing in the world i'm sure it wasn't though there's much more boring things than watching me play the sims for half an hour yeah and did definitely in fact i take everything i said back this is massively exciting especially if you compare it to something like go into the dentist like this is 110% more exciting than that at least it might even be more exciting than 110% uh, but yeah so that's that's about it bye